The Bullet Trials works replica. Go back to the very dawn of motorized transport at the turn of the 20th century and you will find the origins of trials, or reliability trials, as they were formerly known. Manufacturers use these trials to demonstrate their machine's dependability and endurance on rough terrain. It's a grueling test for both men and machine. A trials rider had to negotiate rocky hillside tracks, traverse slippery gullies, pick out a safe line along the windswept ridges, slog through claggy mud, and wade across shallow rivers. The sport became widely recognised in Europe, and when the bullet was launched in 1932, the company quickly heralded its name as the perfect touring or trials motorcycle. In 1935, International Six-Day Trials, or in short, ISDT, which was commonly referred to as the Olympics of Motorcycling, the Royal Enfield team was the only squad riding British motorcycles not to drop a single point. Points were lost in strictly observed sections. If a rider so much put his foot down, merged off course, or simply fell off, it was referred to as a dab. Sorry Cam Newton, you weren't the first to think of this one. In 1937, Enfield riders won a record-breaking 37 trials trophies along with six gold medals in the ISDT, with legends such as Charles Rogers, George Holdsworth and Jack Booker. But there was one highly talented young chap who stood out from the rest. His name was Johnny Victor Britton, or formerly known by the lads at the local Pig and Whistle, Johnny Britton. And before some of you get ahead of yourselves, no, it's not the same fictional character played by Rowan Atkinson. This formidable rider began his ride to success at the young age of 18 on his famous Royal Enfield 350, with the registration number HNP331. Johnny won the prestigious Scottish six-day trials in 1952 and again in 1957. The formidable Scott trials and British expert trials, both twice, 13 gold medals and gained over 50 major championship wins in over 15 years of his trials career. It was this, the off-road capable rider and his bullet machine that drove such a success worldwide for the Royal Enfield. To mark this tremendous run of results, the firm released a bullet closely based on his winning machine in 1958 and named the 350 bullet the Trials Works Replica. Many years have passed, but the Trials Works Replica has come back with a bang. And now complete with the latest unit construction engine and outstanding replicated body works closely matched to its heyday. These two Trials motorcycles are keeping with the traditions of an upswept exhaust. Gated guards on the front fork suspension, a firm yet gentle sprung seat, a teeny tiny handlebar brace, geared all the way to number 5, storing 13.5 litres of deceased dyno liquids, electric start and ABS. The engine displacement comes in two single cylinder variants, a 350 and 500. The 350 chugs out just shy of 20 ponies with 28 newt meters of torque. And as for the big block 500, you're looking at 27 galloping horsepowers with 41 newt meters at 4,000 RPM. Some could argue that these trials replicas are not the prettiest bouquet of flowers for today's generic styling standards. But that's not the point, because this Royal Enfield is strongly based on soul and character. It's the blast from the past, that thumping single cylinder engine, and it's that classic retro design that always keeps you looking and reminiscing. The good old days. That's Royal Enfield's signature dish. Old, yet unmistakable. Well, thus concludes our Royal Enfield video of the Trials Works replica. Did you enjoy our video? Make sure to hit that like button if you love motorcycles as much as I do. If you don't, that's blasphemy. Just kidding, totally up to you guys. What's that? You want to watch more of our videos? Well, I'm glad you asked. Head on over to our official YouTube channel at 60 Degrees where you'll find more motorcycle related content. And by hitting that subscribe button, 
and the bell icon to the right, you'll be notified of our latest video uploads. Also, make sure to pay a visit to Team Moto Euro located in Underwood Moss Street. There you'll find these limited edition Trials Works replicas on display for your viewing pleasures. If you have more questions to ask about the Trials models, talk to any of the sales reps at Team Moto, as they have a wealth of information and knowledge to share with you on the Royal Enfields. I'm Matt Fountain, and thank you for leaning in on our video. And as always, riders, get on your two wheels and free the soul. Thanks for watching.